ICHQ11 is the guideline which defines the criteria used to select and justify an adequate starting material in a drug substance manufacturing process. This is the compound which defines the starting point for application of good manufacturing practice, GMP. So when we look at these roots of synthesis, which compound would be the appropriate starting material? According to ICHQ11, the following general principles should be considered. The root of synthesis after the introduction of the starting material must include multiple chemical transformation steps. This is because in a multi-step synthesis, changes that occur near the beginning of the manufacturing process have lower potential to impact the quality of the drug substance. So any step that, if changed, could impact the drug substance quality should be performed after the introduction of the starting material. Hence, changes before the starting material should generally not be of concern, since there would be plenty of stages after its introduction to ensure the purge of impurities arising from the previous steps. The control strategy for impurities must be clear and adequate. So, any potential impurity described in the manufacturing process must be addressed in the Drug Master File Impurity section, explaining its origin, fate, and control. Manufacturing steps that impact the impurity profile of the drug substance should be included in the process description and performed under GMP. And which are the impurities that impact the impurity profile? Any non-mutagenic impurity present at levels higher than the ICHQ3A identification threshold, so 0.05% to 0.10% in the drug substance, depending on the maximum daily dose, and any mutagenic impurity present at levels higher than 30% of the ICHM7 limit. The exception for this rule is impurities that persist. An impurity that persists is formed in initial stages before the starting material, but followed by steps which are not critical and do not impact the impurity profile. So the step immediately upstream of the proposed starting material should be demonstrated to not impact the impurity profile. Each branch of a convergent synthesis begins with one or more starting materials, and GMP must be applied to each branch, beginning with the first use of a starting material. A starting material should have defined chemical properties and structure, so non-isolated intermediates are not appropriate starting materials. A starting material is incorporated as a significant structural fragment into the structure of the drug substance. Commodities are generally acceptable as starting materials as long as it is proven that they are sold in a non-pharmaceutical market. The questions and answers document which complements the Q11 guideline includes a decision tree which also helps in defining the starting materials. So let's see an example of how to define the starting material. First, we need to evaluate the roots of synthesis and the control strategy of the impurities. In this case, the potential impurities are A, B, C, D, E and F. The origin is the step where the impurities come from, and for each one a control strategy must be described. The two impurities arising from step 1 are controlled in the specification of compound C. Compound C is a mutagenic impurity which is controlled in the drug substance specification with a limit as described in ICHM7. Compound D is controlled in the specification of compound E. And compounds E and F are controlled in the drug substance specification with a limit of 0.15% each. The drug substance impurity profile consists of impurities C, E and F, so the steps that impact the impurity profile are steps 2 and 4. So which would be the best starting material in this case? 
could we consider compounds E and F as starting materials? This would not be possible because the first rule is already not satisfied. Only one chemical transformation step separates them from the drug substance. What about compound D? More than one chemical transformation step separates it from the drug substance, and the control strategy for impurities was shown to be adequate. However, the step immediately upstream of the proposed starting material should not impact the impurity profile. In this case, step 2 was shown to impact the impurity profile, which is immediately upstream of compound D. So this would not be an appropriate starting material. And what about compound C? There would be multiple chemical transformation steps. The control strategy is adequate. All manufacturing steps that impact the impurity profile would be included. Besides, this is an isolated compound, so it has defined chemical properties and structure, and it is incorporated as a significant structural fragment in the drug substance. This is not a commodity, but all other principles were met. So, compound C seems to be the best starting material. However, this was shown to be a convergent synthesis because two parts merged to form the drug substance. So actually, we need a second starting material, which would be a precursor of compound F. Now, let's see if compound C satisfies the requirements described in the decision tree. It has defined chemical properties and structure. It is incorporated as a significant structural fragment. It is not a commodity, so we go to part 2. Here, we should examine the impurity profile. Do the steps upstream of the starting material impact the impurity profile? In this case, step 1 does not impact the impurity profile, because both impurities generated in this step are below 0.10% in the drug substance. Even if their limit in compound C were higher than the identification threshold, 1%, for example, a carryover study may have shown that they are eliminated to less than 0.10% until they reach the drug substance. The next question is if steps upstream of the proposed starting material need to be carefully controlled, and in this case, the answer would be no. And to the question, if there is only a small number of chemical transformation steps, the answer is no. Therefore, the decision tree also confirms that compound C can be defined as the starting material. This is an example of how to justify the selection of a starting material for a synthetic manufacturing process. All the principles of ICHQ11 should be followed. However, the key point is always to have a clear control strategy for impurities, with appropriate and justified specifications for the drug substance, intermediates, and starting materials. This way, regulators can be confident that there is no quality and safety concern, and higher are the chances of approval of the proposed starting material.